Hello my loves and welcome back to, let's zoom in here, I haven't done my lip, lips yet, that's why I look a bit weird. Welcome back to part two of this tutorial. So as you can see it's a new day, it's a new day, it's actually Friday, I feel very happy about that because I've not been 100% and I just feel like I need a bit of rest, um, which I could take in the week but I tend to not because... I have things like this to film and I have work to do. So, <clears throat> I'm just gonna do what I did yesterday and just initially just straighten out any kinks that are already in my hair. Uh, I'm not gonna make it poker straight, but just so that the base is there for me to use. The very exciting XL Curl. Boop, boop. So I'm mean, really actually really excited to see how this turns out because obviously I've killed my hair with straighteners before so I kind of knew what kind of look that was going to go for but never with a straightener that's intended to kill your hair. So let's get a little, little, I've got my heat protection spray on already. I'll link the one down below that I use for you guys. I'm actually obsessed with it. I've been looking for a really, really nice one and I've used this a few days now and it's by far the best one I have ever used. Philip Kingsley Perfecting Primer. So I put it on just a minute ago while I was doing my makeup and let's go. Pre half straightened, as you can see, the locks. Opening this for the first time, I'm thinking, look at this. It literally is beautiful. This would be a lovely gift for someone. Um, so again, heat protection tool if you need it. Again. <laughs> Use it if, if you wish, but I'm probably not going to use it. And again, for my UK gals, American British plug uh, adapter is needed. Oop. Actually, not like fully round, it's like quite oval shaped. You can see it. It's really beautiful though. Beautiful curling dog. I'm excited. And I just can't have it. And again, we've got different settings on the tool. It's a lovely, lovely colour, isn't it? I'm going to go 410, which is halfway up. Um, but I do like the idea that it has these different heats because sometimes without them, you're like, well, I just have to use that particular heat. And you might not need that amount of heat on your hair. And then it might be damaging it for no reason. I finished my makeup off by doing my lipstick, but I haven't brushed my teeth yet. <laughs> so I need to brush my teeth before I put my lippy on. So I'm literally, I always do my hair exactly the same way, like always do it in three sections. So I start off with the bottom base and then I go in with like the two sides. So again, I'm gonna do these kind of thick. Um, I don't like too tight, too many curls. So just getting a piece of hair, sort of about like that thickness. If you haven't brushed it already, I would recommend brushing always before you do a curl. It just gives a much nicer finish. So literally sectioning. This first bit of hair, okie dokie, <coughs> we're there. So, this is how I do it. Um, right, down and away from the face, always. So, down and away from the face, I curl it all the way around. I'm gonna hold it on for, I don't know, 10 seconds. One banana, two banana, three banana, four. <laughs> Okay, then we'll gently try and take it off the way you put it on. So you can see it's a quite a nice, thick, open curl. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. I'm going to do the next section. I'm actually going to do half that out of hair. Oh, it's hot. I just touched my ear with it. <laughs> they should give you like ear protectors. <laughs> I feel like I burn my ears and like my neck come on my fingers. And my drinks out there. Not the best angle with the tool, but my, my plug is there and I can't really do much about it. So I'll move you here. I'm so full of cold, it's not even fun. Um, but this is extremely easy to use. So I shall continue to do this all the way around the hair. Um, and I'll let you see the finished look. Okay, so I'm just in that letting it cool process. So I've not yet brushed it out. This is the way I framed my face with it again just straight down, but I do try and do the bits up the face really high up. So I keep them as high up to the root of the top of the hair as I possibly can. Turned it off now and left it to cool. It's also got one of those really handy things that makes means that it doesn't lie flat on your surfaces. Just a 
something I appreciate as a 31 year old and I don't want my surfaces burnt. Um, and this is how it looks from the back. I mean, it is my first attempt. I wouldn't say it's probably the best I've ever styled it. However, I reckon with a few, I reckon, like I said, I'm gonna brush it out in a bit, but I need to let it set first. If you're a hairsprayer, definitely hairspray now. Um, I'm not because of my frizz. It just, the, the moisture on my curly hair doesn't do anything for the curls. It actually sort of takes them out of anything. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. I feel like it's the nice loose curl I was looking for. Um, and like I say, I'm gonna brush it out. So I will show you that in a moment, but very impressed with my first initial um, have, having, a, having a go at these. I've realized I'm laughing at all I do, which doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing. Also, I am in my my bedroom and I do think the light in here isn't the best either. But you know, we've got, we've got to work with what we've got. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, let me know, leave me a comment of your favorite tool. If you've ever used any other tools, let me know as well. They do have quite a big selection of stuff. They also do do like wigs and extensions and stuff like that. Um, I think my years of extensions are probably out the window. Never say never, but um, I had many years of that and having, ha having extensions with curly hair, naturally curly hair is not ideal i'm sure they've probably come leaps and bounds since i used to do it but yeah so i hope you guys did enjoy thank you for being here hit the thumbs up and i will hopefully see you in the next video and be feeling back to my normal self we have a zara haul coming up i'm super excited about i'm actually filming it today and i haven't opened the parcels yet they're in my um haul right now and i can't wait to just go and dive into them um, yeah, so make sure you subscribe for that one with the Lambo button on. Make sure you follow over on Instagram um, and all my other social platforms. And I'll see you soon. Bye.